Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at some what's new highlights in this UFT1 release. UFT1 is now smarter with AI improvements and more, faster with performance improvements, and it's even more focused on DevOps and continuous testing. So let's start with smarter and first take a look at the AI improvements. You can now perform a business flow on your application and create a sequence of AI steps in your test. Add checkpoints to test the existence or state of AI objects in your application. Learn AI objects on application mockups and prepare your AI-based tests even before your application is developed. Run your existing tests with the AI Transformation Assistant. After the run, the run report will give you suggestions for shifting your test steps from technology-based to AI-based. The new object SPY is an object identification center with a new look and new capabilities. You can do things like spy on multiple objects in a single spying session, select the object you want to edit, modify description properties to customize an object's identification, and add multiple objects from the OIC to your test or to object repositories. Capture and add text objects to object repositories while recording or editing tests. Text objects work like other test objects, supporting checkpoints, common methods, ordinal identifications, and VRI. Next up, UFT1 goes faster. This release has some great performance improvements. Kick UFT1 into high gear and watch your tests reach speeds of up to three times faster. Fire your API tests on all cylinders by running multiple tests simultaneously. Use the Parallel Runner CLI tool to run up to four API tests in parallel. And now, on to our third and final area. Additional DevOps integrations for continuous testing. On Jenkins servers, you can now define ALM credentials globally instead of defining them separately in each job. On an Azure DevOps server, you can now view the UFT1 test run results in detail within the Azure DevOps server UI. You can now use the Asset Comparison tool to merge and resolve object repository conflicts. This UFT1 release adds support for over 30 new technology versions. This includes new versions of Chrome, Chromium Edge, Firefox, and Safari, the new AutoPass license server version, and newly supported technology versions including DevExpress, Dojo, Eclipse, Java, Microsoft Dynamics, SAP, and many more. To learn more, check out the UFT Help Center and become a part of the MicroFocus UFT1 community.